Hi, I'm Doug Ellis, past master of Corinthian Lodge in Concord, Massachusetts. I'm here to show you our original charter. Uh, this charter has been in our possession for the lodge for the past 224 years. Um, you can see Revere's signature right here. Um, we've had it preserved in, um, in a casing, and it was actually the Concord Museum for quite a while um, until they chose to store it in the basement, and we thought it would be better to display it here, uh, at least have the brothers uh, be able to see it than have it in the basement. Um, something else that we, we had uh, discovered a while ago, um, it was the, uh, I think it was around 2009, maybe 2010, Chapter and Council, uh, Royal Arch, was, was had a meeting, and we had just cleaned out the attic and had found some of the old regalia, the old jewels of the lodge. And uh, one of the guests who was here was actually a jeweler um, from Philadelphia, who I understand was the, the jeweler to the uh, royal family in Spain, and a collector of Paul Revere silver. He looked at the jewels, this one in particular, and he said, you know what you have here? This is Paul Revere silver. I can tell by the marks because he, that's what he knew. And sure enough, um, they contacted me because I was going through all of the, uh, uh, the meeting minutes and such. And I found on December 4th, 1797, the master of the lodge presented these, these, these quote unquote ancient jewels um, to the lodge. So there's not complete um, answer that these are revered jewels, but we've compared them to many other jewels uh, from the period and they do appear to be very much like out of the same mold. And it also says on the back here, and you probably, can, I'm sure you can't see that, but it says presented, um, presented to the brothers of Corinthian Lodge from Isaac Hurd. Um, so, and actually, actually it's in the meeting minutes in, 18, in 1797 to have the back inscribed uh, that it was from the first master of the lodge. So we have that, we actually have a full set of jewels. Um, this being the, uh, the master's medallion being the rising sun. Um, the junior wardens being the setting, uh, the, the, the sun at meridian height. This one you'd say is different. Um, the lodge was broken into in 1854 and that jewel was stolen. Apparently it was replaced uh, with a much inferior product here. Um, and when we, when we, and this is the uh, senior ward, of course, the, uh, the setting sun. Um, when we found these, the, uh, the medallions were all mixed up. They had the master actually as the rising sun because they thought that was like the most important. But they had forgotten about these. So the master, of course, is the, is the, the, the rising sun. The Marion height is the junior warden. And the sun setting is the, is the senior warden. Um, we've tried to authenticate these, uh, but there's no receipt. What we know is they do match um, the other lodges that, that we've seen. Um, we, do know, we can date them to 1797. Um, when they were received, they were reported as being quote unquote ancient. So what that means, I don't really know whether they were made for Corinthian Lodge or they were procured for Corinthian Lodge. Um, we do know that Paul Revere chartered the lodge and he was um, known to have made jewels for, uh, for lodges that he chartered. Um, I also know that Isaac Hurd, the first master of the lodge, was raised by Paul Revere in 1777. And uh, his, uh, the, the master of the lodge's father, who had passed at the time, was also a silversmith who worked in Boston at the same period as Paul Revere. So um, the pieces kind of come together. So we, we attribute these to Paul Revere. Um, but we do not have concrete evidence that they're Paul Revere jewels. But um, we're very proud of them all the same.